Before the future rises, its materials arrive first. Carbon-reinforced concrete, non-firing bricks, heat-resistant surfaces. These aren't just upgrades. They're the beginning of a new construction era. So let's open the lineup, starting with a tiny upgrade that changes how things stay together, even underwater. Fix 2GT isn't just an adhesive. It's a fast-curing, high-grip construction glue that works where most materials fail. It bonds underwater, hardens up to eight times faster than common sealants, and reaches usable strength in about 30 minutes. It also absorbs vibrations, holds up under harsh weather, and resists several industrial chemicals. And because it sticks to almost anything, glass, brick, stone, MDF, workers still have about 10 minutes to fine tune the position before it locks in. At peak performance, a 10 square centimeter patch can carry up to 400 kilograms. Not bad for something that fits in a single tube. But bonding is just one layer of construction. The real leap comes from the material that replaces steel entirely. This is CPC, carbon pre-stressed concrete, developed through a collaboration between applied science engineers and industrial partners. Instead of steel reinforcement, CPC uses high-tension carbon fibers compressed inside ultra-thin concrete panels. The result? Panels up to three times thinner without losing structural strength. They're lighter, they require about 75% less raw material, and they significantly reduce production emissions. With that efficiency, the first prototype building became more than a test. It turned into a cafe, workshop, and discussion hub for engineers and designers. A small glimpse of how tomorrow's architecture might be shaped. And if concrete evolves, steel shouldn't stay the same either. That's where Newcastle's upgraded steel frame comes in, a system built for long-term strength and outdoor durability. Instead of a single protective layer, this frame uses a full three-layer shield, hot dip galvanizing, industrial priming, and a polyurethane top coat. Together, they create a corrosion barrier far tougher than conventional treated lumber and noticeably safer for the soil it stands on. The frame itself is made from recycled steel and can be fully recycled again when the structure reaches the end of its life cycle. Strong, stable, and engineered to last, right from the skeleton of the building. We've upgraded the skeleton and now let's upgrade every block that builds the skin. Unity Brick is another attempt to rethink the brick itself. This time, the mix is simple. 2% water, 12% cement, 29% sand, and 57% soil. And thanks to that blend, the brick doesn't need firing. A powerful press is enough that makes it over a third cheaper than regular bricks, and it actually gets stronger with age. Developers claim homes built with Unity Brick stay around four degrees cooler in summer compared to traditional brick houses. But its main trick is in how it's assembled. The bricks are stacked with rebar, then the whole structure is filled with cement mortar. For many builders, this is new, so the team even released a guidebook to make sure construction goes smoothly. EconoSlab is a slab system designed to fix the weaknesses of traditional formwork. It uses pre-designed modules, dancer bolts, that speed up alignment and requires far less ground preparation. The system also pairs with a specific concrete mix that prevents bending and deformation without extra bracing. A clear technical advantage over standard slabs. Load distribution is more consistent and the entire pour can be done in one stage, which reduces time, labor, and errors. In the end, the technology cuts foundation costs by up to 50% compared to classic formwork.
Old buildings often can't handle heavy floor layers, and Ardex Strong Light is made to fix that problem. Regular screeds add too much weight, but Strong Light stays extremely light, only about 27 kilograms per square meter, with a thickness of just 18 millimeters. That makes it great for wooden floors, uneven surfaces, or areas full of old cables and wiring. The system uses three lightweight fillers, a liner, and a reinforcing fabric. Easy to install, but strong once it sets. Tiles can be installed after 36 hours and parquet after about four and a half days, which is much faster than most renovation methods. And of course, strong light works perfectly with underfloor heating. Approximately 45% of residential buildings in Europe were built before 1970, and that figure doesn't even include ancient castles, stone bridges, or centuries-old historical structures. Preserving the character of these streets for future generations is a demanding challenge for restoration specialists. To support this work, Eurotech developed a two-component injection resin engineered specifically for stone and brickwork. Once injected, the material reinforces weakened sections restoring structural integrity to foundations, buttress walls, and pedestal supports. The resin is highly versatile and can even be applied to buildings located near or directly beside in the water. As it gradually polymerizes, it becomes inert and resistant to moisture and underwater conditions, ensuring long-term stability for aging structures. Here's where Australia does something unexpected. A new idea turns concrete into design. Instead of the usual gray slabs, Holcim's Geostone uses natural stones and minerals, tapping straight into the country's huge mining industry. Australia exports minerals to over 100 nations, so the color range is massive, from bright blends to muted earth tones. The result works anywhere, a garage floor, a pool deck, an outdoor lounge. It also stays cooler in harsh Australian summers. And the surface doesn't get slippery because every stone has its own natural texture. And since no batch of stone is ever the same, every project ends up with a unique look. South America's largest stadium, El Monumental, holds more than 86,000 people, and hosting both football matches and massive concerts puts enormous stress on the pitch. To protect the grass from heavy foot traffic and stage equipment, the venue uses a modular surface system made by Everbase. These panels are engineered to handle extremely high loads with a distributed capacity that reaches nearly 40 metric tons per square meter, strong enough for trucks, speaker towers, and concert rigs. The tiles come in multiple sizes, allowing crews to cover small sections or the entire field quickly. And because the panels lock together, they form a stable temporary floor without damaging the ground underneath. This system isn't limited to stadiums. It can be deployed anywhere a large crowd or heavy equipment is expected. Next up is a wall system that doesn't just save time, it rewrites how a wall is made. AFS Logic Wall uses lightweight fiber cement panels pre-cut at the factory, so most prep work never reaches the site. The panels are light enough to carry by hand, a big win for tight locations without crane access. Workers simply brace the panels and fill the cavity with concrete, creating a solid uniform wall ready for finishing right away. Multiple thickness options are available, including high-strength versions for demanding projects. Fast, clean, and consistent, that's the logic wall approach. And for the final touch, here's a solution that transforms the entire exterior. 
Clad is an interesting facade system because it solves two jobs at once, insulating a building and giving it the look of real clinker brick. The installation starts with extruded polystyrene panels from 17 to 100 millimeters thick. Then come the narrow clinker strips, bonded with adhesive and finished with mortar for strength in a natural brick-like pattern. The finished facade stays slim, about 33 millimeters, and weighs roughly 36 kilograms per square meter, making it suitable even for older wooden houses. It also uses 60 to 70% less energy to produce compared to traditional fired brick. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the tech, feel free to subscribe.